Hey guys, I have another video for you here. I know this isn't another nail polish video, but I did do an October Birchbox video, so I decided to go ahead and do a November Birchbox video. Now, I decided to go and do a three month subscription to see if I like Birchbox or not, and this is the second month that I have received so far. December next month will be my last month, and based on that box and this one, and the one before, I guess you could say, I will decide if I want to go ahead and continue this subscription. So let me go through and tell you what I have. Okay, so when you first get the Birch Box, it's in this pink outer, and then the actual box is brown, and it looks like that. And then this is how it looks like when it comes. It's wrapped. Some items are wrapped in this uh, paper, and then it has this little ribbon around it, and then it tells you what's in the box. So here is what's in my box. Okay, so when I first saw it and I opened it, there were these two things right here, and I'm like, they're both body lotions. Um, why are there two body lotions in my birch box? I thought that was really weird. You would think that they would have more of a variety. But anyway, um, and also, I don't really use... Um, body lotion very much because where I live it's always warm so we don't really have winter so I mean I don't really feel the need to use body lotion all the time but anyway so this first one right here is a eucalyptus body lotion and it's a 1.5 ounce so that's a good size for a deluxe sample mind you they promote that these are supposed to be deluxe samples so just keep that in mind but anyway so it's just a eucalyptus um, body lotion so that's decent I do like eucalyptus um, I have a candle that's eucalyptus so this is all right and then the next thing which is so small it's let's see there's not even a weight on here or anything it's just one of those like small little squishy things I don't understand how this is a deluxe sample I mean I'm kind of annoyed to be honest with you because this is like the size that you would get like for free when you shop at like you know Ulta or Sephora or even like um, you know just things like that when you place your order so this is a rose body lotion Camino Rose it says and it's by the same brand as the eucalyptus so that's kind of strange in my opinion but so two body lotions one bigger than the other and they're by the same brand so that's that and then I'm going to move this aside and open up what's in here. As I said, it comes wrapped in this little bow. So inside here, there are four items. And this is Twirl by Kate Spade. And it's just a little fragrance. Once again, I'm kind of disappointed. This is something I would get for free when, you know, you shop at like Sephora or Ulta. I don't understand how this is a deluxe sample. There it is right there. It's really small. You can tell. Like, look at my thumb. And let's see. This is a .05 fluid ounce. So that's super, super tiny. I haven't smelled this yet. I'm not really too fond of um, getting fragrances in the mail or fragrances samples, should I say, at all. Every time I have the option to pick my own, I would never go for the fragrance, just usually because, I don't know, I just would rather have other things I guess you could say like the primer or something else so this is okay I guess but I would rather have gotten something else and this is not a deluxe sample in my opinion so that's that one and then I got this little lip thing it's by Joair I think it's pronounced I think it's French it's a lip enhancer conditioning lip treatment I got something just like this last month, so this is like double, that's kind of annoying, but um, it's just a lip enhancer. The thing that I got last month was supposed to help your cracked lips, you know, when it's supposed to be an exfoliator, and then this is like, an, you know, you put that on after. So this is kind of like a chapstick sort of thing, I guess. Um, yeah, so this is really tiny. It's point. 07 fluid ounces so this isn't really a deluxe sample either I mean I don't know I don't consider this deluxe either compared to all the items I got last time um, this is nothing but it is better than a perfume and it is better than this little skimpy lotion right here which I think is so stupid 
So that's this item. And then, this is the best item in my opinion, is this little Zoya Mini right here. Or this is the little Zoya Mini that I got, which I consider the best item in my box. It's called Noelle. And, you know, if you watch my videos, you know that this channel is pretty much based around nail polish. So I do have lots of nail polish, as you can see up there, if this is your um, first time watching my channel. That's only some of the nail polish I have. But um, this I do not have. I do have Zoya's, as you can see. But this is so small compared to the regular size Zoya. But that's okay, because I consider this to be a deluxe sample. I think this is only the... Th the only thing in the box that you can really consider a deluxe sample because even though this lotion is considered a, del a deluxe sample like lotions cheap like it's lotion like you know you can buy like I don't know how many ounces like at the store for like less than five dollars but anyway this Zoya is from the new um, holiday 2011 collection so that's pretty nice it's an okay color it kind of reminds me of a different color that they have already. It's kind of like a blue with gold and silver shimmer, maybe a little bit of yellow. I would say this would be considered a foil. That's my guess just from looking at it. I have never used it. So my favorite thing out of the birch box is definitely this polish, but do I love it? No, not really. It's just okay. So the last item I got was the treat, it's called, and it's this little hair tie thing. Um, I guess that's cool, I guess. It just feels like ribbon. It doesn't feel anything too great. It's elasticy, so who knows? We'll see. But um, anyway, so my overall thoughts about my birch box. I am definitely disappointed. Um, I definitely do not think it's anywhere near as good as my last month's was. Um, what I continue purchasing just based on this box probably not like I said I don't even feel like I got ten dollars worth of product I really don't last month I definitely got ten dollars worth of products and more this month I believe I did not get ten dollars worth of product because a full-size Zoya is I think eight dollars so if this is like I don't even know this is even if this is half then it would be four and then there's no way the rest of these things this little um, fragrant sample, this lotion, and this other lotion could make up six dollars. Like I, that that is not six dollars with the products right there. So, like I said, I am really disappointed, and I don't like to give negative reviews. I think Birchbox is a great idea. Don't get me wrong, but I really feel like they could have paired up things better, especially two lotions from the same brand. I think that's uh, just not very smart on there, and. So I guess I'll have to see how my next month birch box goes and if it's something that I really like then maybe I'll continue, maybe I won't. Like I said, the reason that I decided to start birch box in the first place is because I saw a lot of products that I liked. You know, some even got full size products. So I guess I'll just have to see how next month's uh, box is and decide based on that. Alright, so that's the end of the video. If you have any comments or questions, please feel free to leave them below and I will be answering them. Thank you guys so much for watching and see you next time. Bye.